Sagittarius. This is going to be an X reading for November 13th through the 20th. Okay, guys. This is a reading to see if it's likely that your ex will come back. Okay. So we're going to take a look at Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs here. Sagittarius and your ex. Again, Sagittarius and their ex. Sagittarius. All right, guys, here we go. Off the top, we're going to pull two cards to see <clears throat> where both of you are right now. This is you. Queen of Wands, all right, and they are the Ace of Pentacles, Earth sign here, okay, you are very um, confident here, very confident, you know, standing your ground, knowing what it is you want out of life and going for it here, this person wants to start something new and offer something to you, I feel like, like a really stable, legit offer here. Okay, let's see what it is that you want. I don't know why I want to put it from the bottom of that deck. Look at that. You have two aces here. Wow. You just want to love yourself. <laughs> this is just the way I feel. Not like you don't want to, you know, love somebody else, but first and foremost, I feel like you are trying to, you know, focus on yourself. Focus on, you know, how you are vibing. Focus on the energy around you. You know, basically, like, balancing yourself out. I feel like here, you are really focused on just being happy. Whether it's with somebody or not, but just being happy with you. This person wants to see the light. <laughs> They, I feel like they, it's like they're questioning um, what they should do when they really know what they should do with the high priestess here. They are fighting their intuition. It's like they're, they're constantly asking for, you know, confirmation of, is this the one? When they know the answer, and it looks like a hell yes, but they're not, it's, it's like this person, this earth sign, I feel like, is very, like, by the book. That's what they're comfortable with. Anything outside of that that they cannot prove, they have a hard time with it. So, what they're wanting is to really see the light, but it's there in front of them. What you need is to not rush into this situation, you know, and just react with your first impulse. Because, you know, as a fire sign, we can be impulsive. Um, and sometimes, you know, if people come at us the wrong way, we can like go, uh, like real quick, like, okay. So it's basically to, to be able to use tact. Um, to approach situations tactfully because a knight of swords can be kind of abrupt an abrupt energy you know very fast not really thinking before they actually speak you know what they need is to stand their ground and listen to their intuition when they think something, they need to trust what they are thinking and not keep rethinking and rethinking and rethinking. Because then they're going to end up 
and the Eight of Swords or the Nine of Swords. So they really need to act on their intuition. Is Union likely here? Very much so. Very much so. Very much so. Um, again, and another sign got this, I forget which one, but we have the Three of Cups here with the Ace of Cups over here. So it's like four cups for me. So it's like this person, for this union to happen, they really need to take a look at, you know, what's what's most important to them, what what they value, you know, what's right in front of them for this union to take place. Because I feel like the longer they wait, you are not focusing on the union anymore. So I feel like this is like a time sensitive situation here actually, okay? So union is very likely but I feel like, you know, there's an expiration date here, okay? We're going to pull a Divine Oracle card, feminine, Divine Feminine Oracle card for you guys, as well as an Angel Prayers card, okay? To close out the reading. All right, so we have Yeshe, so yeah, okay? Lady of the Lotus Born, embodiment is the deepest bliss. My body was made for enlightenment. That's right. Love it. Love it. Okay. And that goes for both of you. I feel like you are standing in yours, though. This person is needing to stand in theirs. Okay. Wherever this is on this side. And we also have Leo here, Aquarius, Cancer. All right. Let's see. All right. Flip out. Unconditional love. The Divine Mother. Thank you, Divine Mother, for helping me to give and receive the love I deserve. That's what they need. That's what they need. Unconditional. I thought my camera was plugged up Sagittarius and it just cut off even though I was at the end of it, but it just cut off abruptly. But yeah, unconditional love is, is what we all need to, you know, even if we don't or can't be with someone, you know, just to love that person for what they, you know, brought to our lives. If nothing else, it was, it was a learning experience. Okay. To grow us. Okay, guys, so that is your reading for November 13th or the 20th, and um, I will be speaking with you guys soon.